This is the Wise Greco in Warframe and today a Zephyr build. And this is a special Warframe because this Warframe can float on the air. So, let's see how I build this thing. Of course, a lot of duration with the narrow minded and the prime continuity mods. But you can also use your normal continuity mods. That's n That's no problem. And of course, flow for some extra energy. I got some rage because every time I get hit, I get my energy and I use my powers. Narrow-minded, of course, for some extra duration. And vitality for health. And the stretch mod to even it out a little bit. The first ability is called Tailwind. Where the Zephyr blasts itself into the air hurting everything all around her and the way your hut is aimed that is the way you are flying when you blast off into the air you give your enemies impact damage but when you fly around you give them slash damage with power strength you give more damage and with power duration you can fly longer and with power range your striking radius is affected the second ability is called Dive Bomb, where the Zephyr nose dives to the ground where her enemies are, creating an explosion and giving impact damage. And with this ability, the higher you are, or the higher you activate this ability, the more damage you do when you come to the ground. So you fly up high with your first ability, and then use your Dive Bomb to finish your enemies off. The third ability is called turbulence and it is a defensive ability because you create a shield around you that bounces off projectile but be careful because when enemies just come to hit you it will not protect you it is only good against projectiles so bullets or laser guns remember that and because this build has a lot of power duration the shield stays up for 30 seconds And the ultimate ability is called Tornado. And it speaks for itself because the Zephyr creates a couple of tornadoes that will suck in her enemies and shoot them out of, out of the top, making them fall all the way to the ground and die a horrible death. So when you are in a pinch, just use this ultimate ability to make sure that there are no enemies surrounding you. This ability lasts around 30 seconds and does magnetic damage while your enemy is in the tornado. The number of tornadoes that you will spawn will depend on the number of enemies that surround you. Well, now that we know about all the abilities, it's time to use them in a tower 3 capture mission and I chose this mission because I will show you how fast this Zephyr is it's amazing you just fly up in the air <clears throat> see your objective go straight to it BAM and he's dead this is how you do it this is how you use the Zephyr use the Zephyr to be quick and to be nimble in the mission you need to be fast if you want to be fast use this Warframe because it just flies around all over the place so for instance when you do an interception mission this warframe will be perfect or when you need to escape a whole lot of enemies again this warframe can fly you straight out of trouble
I wanted to prove that the tornado does magnetic damage and here you can see it but it doesn't happen very often I must say Now that we have done all the serious parts of this build, it's time to fuck around a little bit. So, I got a lot of duration, 100% strength, almost no range, and a little bit of efficiency. And you ask me, what flipping build is this? Well, it is a build for the Zephyr to fly only. You heard me right. It's time to not touch the ground. The ground is lava. Let's play that game. So here we are in a dangerous mission, only flying, look how beautiful the Zephyr is, only flying, there are no enemies inside because she is too fast, too fast for all their asses, and oh, she died, well serious now, look at this, we got a big flipping map, and now you can see the Zephyr only flying, it is hard ladies and gentlemen, you need practice, practice like the master I am, and have some fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Check me out on all my other videos. And I hope to see you there. Adios. A Tower 4 capture mission. And we know who we will find here. And it is Captain Boar. And look at the damage. Look at how fast his shield went down. And now his health. This weapon is great. Look at it. He's almost down. He's almost down. And look at it again. Oh my god, he's dead, ladies and gentlemen. That is how fast this weapon can kill something. 